Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here with the Spark. We've done the new firmware upgrade. Uh, and one of the things I want to try experimenting with is the uh, panorama motor, the 180 degree panorama mode. So I want to go ahead, I want to start screen recording on here. And hopefully I've started screen recording, so it's starting up. One, two, three, and we should have screen recording. I've checked, however, we're good to fly, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this up. And just checking it out, do a quick walk around. Uh, one of the things I want to do before we do that is I want to start the um, video recording. I think I got that set, so let's start the... So, so far, so good. We get the thumbs up in there, and everything looks good with that. So, tell you what, let's take it, take it, let's take it up and out a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to do anything too crazy because I want to just sort of get it up there to kind of experiment. So, um, I want to kind of get it out there and let's see. So now I'm going to stop video and I hope video stops. Alright, so I'm going to switch back to camera. And I'm going to switch, and let's see, I'm going to switch to camera mode, and we have pano, I'm going to switch to pano, and it uh, looks like we have a third option, so, um, so I think this is going to be 180 degree pano, and so I am going to hit go. And so it looks like it's going to take zero uh, auto exposure locked. So it seems like it's taking two of nine. I think this might be the old panel, but we'll go ahead and see. And then we'll try the other one. It sure is whipping around up there, if you can hear it. So I didn't want to send it off too far. So it, it's really moving around. Hopefully you can kind of see it. Hopefully I'm not getting too much wind noise. Uh, but now it seems to be complete. So now what we have to do is hit the play button. And uh, we have the panel. You can see the icon. I'm going to go ahead and tap it. And what happens, it's now downloading actually from the copter. Now one of the things to note, a little tip, uh, if you leave the memory card in, you can do this on the ground instead of wasting battery time with this thing in the air. Because you can see it's, it's now, so it's now stitching the panel image together. If you can see it um, and I'll have the screen recording on the so now this is a rather capable tablet too it's got a quad core processor in it etc and so it's taking a little bit of time to to stitch this thing and again all the while you're doing this it's wasting battery so this is kind of one thing to keep in mind that um, you know shooting stuff like this it might be worthwhile for you to do you know back on the ground to do the stitching rather than to spend the time in the air but I just kinda want to show you guys how it sort of all comes together um, and again you know if you have a slower tablet or a phone uh, I'm not sure how this is indicating its um, its completion status but sure is taking a while I might actually fast forward this piece up because uh, it's still thinking and again so it's got a it's got to stitch together nine fairly good size uh, photographs so I wish they had picked up the garbage over there so it's not uh, that great of a picture with garbage in it right but it is what it is I'm sure they had a baseball game or something out here and it's still stitching oh there seems to be uh, all right so there it is so there's the picture actually that came out pretty good so um, and then we can download it uh, to the, we hit the download button and we'll download it to photos. Uh, export it to local photo. I'm, now one of the tips that I use is I have a drop, uh, not sorry, not Dropbox, uh, OneDrive installed on here. And for my photos I simply sync it to OneDrive and upload it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back again. And I'm going to go back here to camera. And whoops, that didn't like sort of the application sort of crashed on me there. 
So let's see, going back to fly, so hopefully it'll come back into the application. Alright, so I'm back in the application. It seems to have kept that mode, so I want to go back here. Let's try the other uh, pano mode, and I think this is the, the classic pano. So, auto exposed. No, this must be the, because the, this is going to take 21 pictures. So the center one appears now to be the, uh, the 180, and so it is really doing some gyrations up there. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I'll see if I can't, if I'm getting it in, got my head high enough on the hat cam. Uh, it's definitely gyrating around. And... And it's still moving around up there. You can kind of see in the, the pictures uh, from the uh, screen capture. So hopefully I'm getting this and I can zoom in on the hat cam. Uh, section. I'm not getting too much wind. It's a little bit of gust today, maybe about three miles. Just a nice little uh, July-August breeze. I think it's the 31st of July, so it's uh, getting ready to cut over to August. Real nice temperature, really nice flying day. And so it appears to have completed. So let's go ahead. we got to press the play button again. That's the rules. And uh, we now, you notice we have another uh, in the photo album here. Now this is going to take a little bit longer, I think, to to download. Did that? No, that's the old one. Oh, I keep thinking that the one with the... Okay, so I'm downloading. i got to hit the right one. So I've got the right one now selected. So as you can see, it's downloading the images. Now with 21 images, it's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, I don't know if I've got enough battery to keep that in the air for all this. So uh, one of the things I'm curious, can I fly this while this is doing this. Yes, I can fly this. So while this is downloading the pictures, what I want to do is bring it back in a little bit because it's probably going to want to return to home here. Because as you can see, I've only got two bars left on it. So let's uh, bring it down. I'm actually going to move my helipad uh, a little bit further out of field. I got that a little too close to the building. So uh, let's do that. So now it's stitching the pano image. And still stitching. And you can see the, uh, well, I was trying to figure out before, I couldn't see it because of the glare. But. Uh, So I'm going to still let this stitch. I'm going to move this back up on. I got a little, fell off the pad a little bit. So uh, let's see what it comes up with. So it's still stitching. Uh, Disannexia visual avoidance system. So I don't know what happened. If that, that completed and it just went back because I landed. Um, huh. So let's go back and try that again. Oh, damn. I keep pushing the wrong one. Uh, you would think that the, that the big one with 21 frames would be the, the larger one. It's not. So that's a little bit confusing on, I think, their part. And so it's stitching the images together right now. And uh, like I say, this will probably take a little bit longer because it's 21 images. So I'm really interested to see what this is going to do. There's some people coming up behind me, so I'm just kind of watching what's going on here. So again, stitching the images together. Okay, so here we are. I had to actually cut some of the uh, uh, time because it literally took probably pretty close to me eight nine minutes to stitch all those 21 pictures together on this tablet so definitely not some something I would suggest doing in flight uh, what I would suggest doing is, is go take your pictures um, 
and then get it back down on the ground and reboot it and go in and, and let it download the pictures from the copter while it's on the ground and then do the stitching uh, because it just really takes uh, takes a lot of time so as you can see here we have a pretty good sized picture of this and and so one of the things that'll be interesting to see you know the resolution once we download these uh, to the computer and I'll have you know copies overlaid here too so anyways I think this was uh, a pretty I think this is a, a very interesting addition to the uh, spark I'd love to I'd love it to be able to do a 360 degree um, pano and uh, you could probably do that stitch it yourself do two 180s and stitch them together uh, but it'd be nice if it did it right in the copter so uh, anyways hopefully you found this interesting if you did hey give it a thumbs up if you got some questions hit me up below let me know what you're thinking about having for lunch today I don't know maybe I'd like some too and uh, hey we'll see you guys in the next video cheers